Right here guys, 1346 is where my father had his shop for many years. And basically this guy just came right in here uh, just recently. And uh, what you see here now is California Coast Beer Company. So really cool guys, we got my dad's uh, Tozy's Body Shop. That's always like the really cool thing, the signs back up here. This is just basically uh, the mechanic shop. There'd be two lifts right here, one right here, one lift right here. And uh, this is where they drove the cars through right here. Basically down here at the bottom, was where we'd park all the auxiliary cars. Now, this place is all badass. You can come out here, get some shade. It is really one of the awesomest places in Paso Robles. You can get a little bit of live music and uh, a lot of space, obviously with COVID, that's important. He is standing where the paint and body booth used to be. So that paint and body booth would be literally a rectangle that would add to that one right there. So cool. So cool there's this many people here. So this used to be the old paint booth, and now it's a wine bar. And there used to be a main office to the right. You got a couple more Tozy signs up in the corner. Yeah, yeah, see, just more Tozy signs back there. How's it going? Hey, doing well. Good, man. Talking to the camera. I, uh, Crazy. That's all right. No, I, I used to, uh, we used to own this place. You guys pay us rent. So, uh, Chris, Tozy. Oh, nice. Nice to meet you, man. Good to meet you. What's your name? Doug. Nice to meet you, Doug. Well, I appreciate it. Well, we love you. I saw the old Tozy's auto side. I, you know, I was, I knew it was in the main building, but like, all right, they're yeah. doing it on the side building. Right. See, when you're talking to yourself, guys, make sure you let everyone know. And then they won't be like, what is this guy doing? Well, that was pretty cool. Always get love here. It's kind of cool. It's like this uh, good pick-me-up, you know? It's uh, not too many people have that kind of on standby. So pretty thankful. Breakfast. Early 80s, 90s. Vic's Cafe is where you came in Paso Robles, guys. Without a doubt. My father had a lot of good gigs right here. Pretty cool. I mean, look at you're playing out to the park. Pretty cool how you look out. Now, if you guys know my dad, you would not think that that guy, biggest white dude ever, his favorite place would be a Chinese food place. But if that Chinese food place offered unlimited food, that would be my dad's favorite place. Dragon Palace, everyone. That is where you go. Mike Tozy approved. I think the buffet is probably open now, so come and get it, everyone. I forgot to show you the place where my dad got his hair cut. Cletus, one of his favorite dudes. And the only post office. This was his favorite post office right here. Kind of cool. One of my old friends ended up buying this place and taking over. And uh, they got outdoor seating. It's kind of cool. A little bit of indoor seating. And uh, yeah, I like it. I haven't been here um, since I saw my brother play a gig here. So, kind of cool. Kind of cool. The poor house, definitely one of my dad's favorites. I like it, bro, I like it. Dude, we got one scooter and we got, we got an e-board. Yeah, yeah. Meepo, right on, brother. Paso's got an electric, I can see, baby. Love it. This is this is this is highly, highly, highly unlikely. Didn't think this would happen like this. I'm the ride. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a special Father's Day edition of Electric Life. We're here in Paso Robles. I don't know if you can see that, 96. And it's actually kind of cool. We got some wind and uh, kind of feels really nice. So uh, anyways, this is gonna be the first year without my father. And I thought uh, after waking up, seeing everyone's good stories, good vibes about hanging out with Papo, you know, instead of staying home kind of depressed, I'll get out and uh, do a little video and show you my father's favorite things in Paso Robles. So, let's go for a little cruise, everyone. 
Hope you're enjoying your Father's Day. Maybe not my dad's favorite guy, but Steve Hobie, accounting, right there. My dad came here for years, uh, and I know his uh, son Todd, Ryan, good dudes, uh, good friends. So, anyways, accounting, you got to get your businesses straight first, and uh, that's one of, the, one of the faves. A lot of changes around here, guys. This used to be a liquor store. Now it looks like in a pretty, pretty big food place here. Our little downtown Paso Robles is kind of hip and cool now, so parking, especially on a Father's Day, is going to be kind of crazy. Now, Cut Your Paso used to be a very popular restaurant. Everyone used to come here. That was kind of the thing. And my father never really was a big fan of that place, but they always used to come to Cowgirl Cafe. So Cowgirl Cafe right here, favorite of my papo, love this place, uh, would frequent it often. Um, and I came here a few times with him as well. Really cool, really cool, uh, kind of like breakfast place. Uh, they do lunches and that kind of thing, but the whole deal is to do breakfast there. Anyways, guys, let me make sure this thing's still recording here. Yep. Alrighty, alrighty. Now, a little bit of history. My father first came here from Los Angeles, moved over down here, and this was either GMC or, uh, I could have it all wrong. Chevrolet, it was basically a dealer dealership, and this is where you would come to get your car serviced from. So my dad's first job is a mechanic right here. Worked here for however many years, saved his money, and uh, bought the shop that I'm going to take you to over here. This is now one of uh, Paso's hip and favorite spots. So anyways, it's kind of crazy, this whole little one or two corners. Um, my dad spent a lot of his life working. out for Paso people going in circles you never know so yep yeah. it's right here guys 1346 is where my father had his shop for many years and basically this guy just came right in here uh, just recently and uh, what you see here now is California Coast Beer Company um, really cool you know it's one of those places where this used to be my father's automotive shop and now in Paso Robles, it is by far one of the coolest little spots, you know? There's like traffic over here, you know? Crazy, kind of crazy. Funny, funny, funny. Whoa. Good, good. Anyways, this used to be the main shop door, which is kind of fun. So this is how you would enter the business. Obviously it's uh, closed right now kind of deal. And, uh, these were the main doors that basically when this would open up, the shop would open up one way, this would come on up, and the cars would come through right here, through the middle. And that's basically uh, how everything was done up. On the other side, you would come over here to get your car uh, paint and body booth, like uh, paint repair, this kind of deal. It's where they kind of did it over here, so it's kind of cool. Anyways, I'm gonna do a little, uh, parking spot right here. Hopefully Paso Robles people won't end up stealing my stuff. Oh, look at this place. This is kind of cool, guys. This used to be the old restroom. So literally the shop office used to be in here. And this was uh, the men's restroom right there. It's kind of funny. How's it going? My dad used to own this place, the shop. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, so I'm coming in, doing a little video right here. I got oh, right on. do a little reminiscing for uh, Father's Day. So, so you still got this up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, welcome back. Yeah, thanks. What's your name? Zach. Chris. Chris, nice, nice to meet you. you. Have a walk around, dude. Thank you. So really cool, guys. We got my dad's uh, Tozy's Body Shop. That's always like the really cool thing, the signs back up here. This is just basically uh, the mechanic shop. There'd be two lifts right here, one right here, one lift right here, and uh, this is where they drove the cars through right here. Let me show you the backside. It's 
So when we used to have cars, all the cars would be parked down here. You drive them down this ramp we had, and uh, basically down here at the bottom was where we'd park all the auxiliary cars. Now this place is all badass with like a fucking live entertainment and uh, really cool, really cool. So this is part of our family history now. My dad sold the shop. We got a little bit of uh, money invested in this place, so we feel like it's a good thing that it does well. We want it to do well, and it's a really cool place. Look at this. You can come out here, get some shade. It is really one of the awesomest places in Paso Robles. You can get a little bit of live music and uh, a lot of space, obviously with COVID, that's important. He is standing where the paint and body booth used to be. So that paint and body booth would be literally a rectangle that would add to that one right there. So cool. So cool there's this many people here. So this used to be the old paint booth, and now it's a wine bar. And there used to be a main office to the right. And uh, this is where we would uh, basically fix cars right here, type of deal. It's kind of crazy. You got a couple more Tozy signs up in the corner. Yeah, yeah, see, there's more Tozy signs back there. How's it going? Hey, doing well. Good, man. Talking to the camera. I, uh, I was like, holy fuck, this guy's crazy. That's all right. No, I, I used to, uh, we used to own this place. You guys pay us rent. So, uh, Chris, Tozy. Oh, nice. Nice to meet you, man. Good to meet you. What's your name? Doug. Nice to meet you, Doug. Well, I appreciate it. Well, we love you. I saw the old Tozzi's auto sign. I, you know, I was, I knew it was in the main building, but like, all right, they're yeah. doing it on the side building I'm too. Moving it to put it up over here soon, uh, so it's more visible. But uh, my plumber decided to use it as a fucking backdoor. <laughs> I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> That's all good. Right on, my man. Yeah, yeah. I got a semi-successful YouTube channel, so I, uh, I need to do a Father's Day edition. So I thought, hey, I'm gonna come around and uh, show everyone the cool things that my dad loved. So. Hell yeah, man. Right on, brother. We loved Mike, man. He was awesome. Thank you. Yeah. So. No. I, you know, it's funny is, is we're, you know, I moved back into town to kind of take care of my mom. And yeah. um, as many people that loved him, there's also a lot of people that hated him too, you know? <laughs> I was like, yeah, dad keeps just like us. You he know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, you know, because you're straight shooters, man. Yeah, so a lot of people, a lot of people aren't going to get that, you know? So, it. yeah, it's very cool. So yeah. I just... It's awesome to come here and just see that this is thriving like this. And uh, yeah, you know, cause I'm used to like, you know, as I'm telling the camera stories, I used to like scrub my Camaro that I wrecked. You know what I mean? He made me do all the work and yeah. like, you know, just crazy all the different memories you got yeah. kind of through here. You know, it's people mainly. It's all, it's all the crazy employees my dad had. Well, hey, you know? we still have the hole in the, on the floor in the corner with butt. Like, <laughs> it's still there. It's just under the boxes. <laughs> What's so funny is that office never got used. Probably, you know what I mean. Yeah. So even though that toilet was there, that thing never got used for 20 years, that's you know. Hilarious. So that's cool. Well, right cool, on. Man. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Have a great day. You Thank you. See, when you're talking to yourself, guys, make sure you let everyone know, and then they won't be like, "What is this guy doing?" It's kind of cool. Little Iron Oaks, Iron Oaks Winery. It's now what they call it, but uh, anyways. Pretty cool. Well, that was pretty cool. Always get love here. It's kind of cool. It's like this uh, good pick me up, you know? It's uh, not too many people have that kind of on standby. So, pretty thankful. Yeah, see where food trucks are? There used to be cars being lifted. Kind of crazy. Anyways, any, anyways. Let's check this out. Let's do this. Man, no one out on the street here. Now this place right here, Vic's Cafe, was my dad's favorite restaurant place. They obviously, uh, Changed it up a little bit and redid the whole buildings. They had to get up to code. But breakfast, early 80s, 90s, Vic's Cafe is where you came in Paso Robles, guys, without a doubt. So anyways, kind of cool, kind of a little bit of old history here. 
And the fact is that they have, uh, they're still here. They still exist. So it's kind of cool. Anyways, look out for these Paso people. They don't know what to do. I got to put my trailer right at the thing. Uh, the Paso police are going to be on them. They're going to be on them like no other. Right, the park. My dad used to love the park. So let's get you over there. You'll notice the Paso people are not used to scooters. They give you that. What the fuck is that, man? Anyways, Paso Park, kind of cool. This little area down over here is where they would let the bands play. And my dad's band would be playing all the time down here. So this little square right here, kind of famous, kind of cool. Lots of events go on here. And uh, my father had a lot of good gigs right here. Pretty cool. I mean, look at you're playing out to the park. Pretty cool how you look out. Just to show you, this is uh, kind of some good, kind of cool architecture. It's really old school. Reminds you like, you know, Back to the Future or some kind of old, old. Here's the old library. Really kind of cool. And uh, anyways, guys, it's kind of just funny to see Pass Robles, such an old town. And now it's got all this like new infrastructure, but they kind of keep all the old classic kind of historical nods. Which is good, you gotta do that. Then you just lose your identity to all this new stuff, you know? Alrighty. There is parking, which is kind of crazy. Usually, parking? Scarce. <laughs> How are you doing? Father's Day, quiet downtown, shoot. This is the movie theater, and now uh, Red Scooter Deli is the hot place to get your uh, deli sandwich. The movie theater was huge down here, got them all popular and stuff. It's funny, all the group of guys look at me like, oh, hey. It's pretty good downtown, a little, uh, a little old with new. You guys know my dad, you would not think that that guy, biggest white dude ever, his favorite place would be a Chinese food place. But if that Chinese food place offered unlimited food, that would be my dad's favorite place. So let me show you my dad's favorite spot. We got some wind here in Paso. One more, one more. The Dragon Palace, everyone. That is where you go. Mike Tozy approved. I think the buffet is probably open now, so come and get it, everyone. There's parking, kind of cool. I remember being in there. There is a lot of space, actually.
Now, my dad never came here. <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to come here. So I'm going to try this place out. Twisted and Glazed, they got their own like shop. Man, it looks fancy as hell. So anyways, definitely going to hit that place up. All right, guys, kind of a short video. Um, you know, if uh, whatever, you got your dad around still, go uh, go hang out with him. Give him a call. You know, once he's uh, passed away, all you can do is kind of do what I'm doing. Do a little, uh, little uh, you know, whatever, a little memory, monument to him. Anyways, love you, Dad. I forgot to show you the place where my dad got his hair cut. Cletus, one of his favorite dudes. And the only post office. This was his favorite post office right here. Anyways, guys, this is where a lot of the softball stuff goes down. Kids. And since we're coming around here, One of Paso's finest, the poor house. This is uh, kind of cool. One of my old friends ended up buying this place and taking over. And uh, they got outdoor seating. It's kind of cool. A little bit of indoor seating. And uh, yeah, I like it. I haven't been here um, since I saw my brother play a gig here. So kind of cool. Kind of cool. The poor house, definitely one of my dad's favorites. I like it, bro. I like it. Here we go. Learning quick. There's a good old Amtrak if you ride uh, Greyhound or Amtrak. This is where you're going to come. It used to be a pretty nice station and then it just got deserted. But, uh, anyways. It's funny, they, like, they hear it. What is that? place turned into kind of a crazy place there was nothing here before now it's art gallery and very good that they did the cold stone in there dude we got one scooter and we got we got an e-board shit man this is too much yeah yeah meepo right on brother paso's got an electric I can see, baby. Love it. This is this is this is highly, highly, highly unlikely. Didn't think this would happen like this. It's fun to watch the Passos stare at me. Arms is still here. It's one of the classics. I wonder if they were still around. Now, yeah. used to be a barber shop over here. That's where that sale realty was. But if we go over to Vic's Cafe. We shall get to where my dad used to get his hair cut. Cletus. Cletus was his boy. I'm sure it's gone now. 
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The new era barber, guys. That's where my dad used to get his hair cut. Cletus, I doubt you're still there, my man. That was years ago. That's really cool. Really, really cool. All right, guys, now we're taking off. Now the electric life's out. Peace and love to your fathers, guys. Enjoy them while you can, and uh, have an awesome, awesome, awesome Father's Day. The electric life is officially out. Yeah, I thought it'd be uh, crazy busy in town. Nice. Actually, my dad used to like the Elks Club too because they'd let him his band play there. So, another one of my dad's favorites. Nice parking. This beats San Francisco parking, everyone. <laughs> oh, holy moly. Goodbye.